Hi, my name is Chris. This is the Camille Corp. And today we're going to be reviewing the mostly completed Mandalorian cosplay. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Okay, look. So I've been working on this for probably about a year. I think I printed off the chest about a year ago. Uh, so this has been a long time coming and I finally had the opportunity to put all of the pieces together. Uh, and while for the most part I was very happy, I immediately noticed some things that I need to address. So we're gonna look at a couple of screens and we're just gonna kinda talk about what those things are. Okay, so here's the completed set. Um, the, the thing that I'm mostly noticing here is how tight that flight suit is. Um, when I bought this back in May, I was probably about 10 pounds lighter than I am now. And it was pretty tight then. Uh, so... I did what any rational cosplayer would do in the situation is I went out and I ordered another one a size up. <laughs> so so uh, the, the tight flight suit is doing a couple of things and I think um, it, it might be a little hard to tell from this angle but it makes the helmet look bigger like, too, like, like a, you know, the head looks too big for the body and I think that's because everything is just so tight. So what I'm going to do is the flight suit in a size large instead of a medium will will give me a little bit more bulk um, and, and will make the shoulders specifically look a little bit bigger. Um, also it's going to be a lot more comfortable. I had a lot of problems even sitting down in this thing so that is that is number one front and center right here. The second thing I'm noticing is that the chest is oversized. It is clearly too big. It's out of proportion. And if you notice like right here where it angles up a little bit, uh, that's because it, it was coming up at an angle like this. And I actually trimmed those in so I wouldn't be making contact with the shoulder bells. So I'm going to be reprinting the chest uh, to the appropriate size. And I, and I think that's going to help with some of the proportions. Uh, looking at it from behind, looks good. Um, I can see a little bit of my neck, uh, the skin of my neck. So like, uh, shoot, what do they call those things? Like the buff bands or, you know, some, I don't know. We'll, we'll do something there. Yeah. Uh, the other piece that I noticed, especially for this pose right here is I need a hip plate. And this is actually a gray shot because you can see how freaking tight these pants are. Uh, very uncomfortable. Um, we are going to be addressing these things. Probably the next time this will be taken out is going to be in March for Planet Comic Con in Kansas City. Um, me, my wife, and some friends of ours will be doing a Lord of the Rings theme uh, on, on the Saturday of that weekend. But I think busting this guy out on Friday is going to be very cool. Yeah, so, but overall, you know, putting this thing on for the first time and just seeing everything together was amazing. Um, some people have told me that, you know, yeah, you're, you're probably nitpicking some things, you know, the, the, the chest size and the hip plate specifically. Nobody has disagreed that the flight suit is way too tight on me. Yeah, I really feel like with those modifications, just getting a properly fitted chest. I also, you know, I'm just, I'm, th I'm thinking about, you know, because the shoulders don't look quite pronounced and intimidating enough for my taste. So if the larger flight suit doesn't address that specifically, I'll end up putting some shoulder pads in. Uh, and I'll probably, if that doesn't do the trick, I will probably end up printing new shoulder pieces more along the style of what you see in the Mandalorian, where those actually like 
protrude out from the shoulders a little bit to give that impression of additional width. So that's what I'm thinking. There's also a YouTube short out there that I will link probably up here. Yeah, probably up there. So that's something that uh, you can check out just to see everything while I'm moving, right? You can see how things look a little bit better than you can from the three stills that I showed you. Anyway, a lot of you over the course of the last eight to 10 months have been tuning in and providing feedback and, you know, cheering me on. Uh, I, when I posted the video about screwing up the magnets and the bracers, a lot of you were like, hey man, keep going. I know it's discouraging, but work through it. So all of that's been incredibly helpful. Uh, your tips, your tricks, your encouragements are all greatly appreciated. Um, so I'm going to continue to refine this. So there are probably going to be a few more videos in this series, but uh, probably we'll be turning the attention to the basement spaceship build. So I will go ahead and I will put the playlist for that at the end of this video. So if you want to hop over there and check some of that out, you can certainly do that. Once again, thank you for watching. If you found some value or you enjoyed the video, I invite you to hit the like button. Uh, also invite you to click subscribe and uh, hit that bell notification. Uh, the bell will notify you when new content gets posted to this channel. Um, additionally, we do have a Patreon. Uh, turning the basement into a spaceship is not a cheap task. I have sold a lot of my nerd and geek paraphernalia that I've spent a decade collecting to fund this. But uh, I, I think we have some fun tiers that have some really cool perks. So uh, that is in the description. So feel free to check that out if you feel you have a couple bucks burning a hole in your pocket and you need a place for them. I don't like asking for money, so that's the extent of my pitch. Uh, thank you very much for your time. I look forward to seeing you next episode. And until then, keep creating. Thank you.